Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. I um I got to ask you this. What is it like uh for you being from San Francisco and never leaving and seeing the state of your city, bro? Like because I love San Francisco. I love Oakland just as much as I love Oakland and I hate to see what it became as far as like how it looks. Like, you know what I'm saying? And how they like you know when we sold coke and shit like it was like a nigga could go to jail for hella long for selling rocks. But like now they, now that it's a white thing with the drugs and it's an epidemic, or or, or whatever, it's just it's just total chaos, right? Motherfuckers just do whatever they want to do. Oh, nigga, you know what I mean? Niggas just went to jail for one rock, bro. Man, just cause you had a prior or some shit. I'm now they about selling one shit that rock, people. my nigga. I'm talking about, bro. You really just really just did all this paperwork. A took rock. a nigga to jail for one fucking rock, my nigga, where you could have just threw it on the ground, stomped on that shit, told a nigga, I bet not see you out here no more. You know what I'm saying? They didn't watch so many niggas for Christ. Why well, I hate drugs, bro. I hate drugs, my nigga. I really hate drugs, bro. I ain't sold dope since 1998. It was over for me, bro. They hit my spot three times, and I wasn't there all three times, and that told me right there, it's over. It's over. I'm cool, my nigga. Mm -mm. We even when when you so like most people can't rappers just for the future. Like they can't get out and sustain without doing something. Like right. So if you had to give the young nigga some advice, what would you say is a way to live to be a rapper and not have to do that other shit that's gonna set you up? And to answer your question about San Francisco, because I didn't answer that oh, question. Okay. The city boy is like, did you see the video? I put, like, go on my page. I want y'all to go on my page and look at the video that I posted of London Breed just dancing at the Juneteenth Gala. Mm -hmm. My nigga, it's a half a million views on there and probably three or four thousand comments and 90% of them. Nasty. Nasty. The most comment. racist shit you ever gonna Nasty see. Nasty shit. It's unbelievable. I posted this shit on Juneteenth. My engagements is a half a million just because of that, bro. I'm getting engagements of a half a million people because they still come. Like, if I go on there right now, it's going to be a new hundred comments. They just dogging our mayor, bro. And this shit been going on before London was the motherfucking mayor, bro. Have she you came into a my nigga? Fuck. Y'all don't know what the tenderloin is? This shit been going on since I was a kid, my nigga. For sure. The tenderloin has been a fucked up place. My yeah. nigga, it's a police station right in the middle of the shit. Come on, man. They are selling dope and shit in front of the police on, station. Man. That little park right there. The park. Remember they tried the to redo the park? My nigga. <laughs> it's been like what? They tried to redo the park and open it. Same and in Filmo. Them. Niggas is, niggas, niggas is, niggas a police station right there. Niggas is outside. What do that tell you? Come on, bro. Like. I hate to say it. We got the most lean um, city in the world. You know, for some shit, it helps out. You know what I'm saying? But, Fucked like, up all them niggas put it like get this. Washed. A case that you would catch in Frisco, where you would get out, go catch that same case of San Jose or San Mateo oh, your County. Ass done. Nigga, I dare you. Yo ass, you going to prison. I dare you. Go catch two crack cases in San Mateo County, to, my you're nigga. You going to prison. You going to prison. Nigga, when I was in juvenile, bro, I went to juvenile, of course, for hella crack cases, bro. I just it's just what it was, my nigga. You know, we in the time, 88, 89, 90. Right, it just, right. You know, you got task force and you know that's what they was looking for. It was on your ass. I'm seeing niggas coming in three or four times, my nigga. While I'm in there doing two months, two and a half, niggas coming in three or four times, and I'm like, counselor told me one day. Oh, that's because they from a lower income than where you stay at. That's crazy, nigga. 
Because, you know, Lakeview, is, you know, we yeah, section their houses yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I was from the projects, nigga, I could catch three, four crack cases and get out. Basically, that's what they was trying to tell me. Wow. Come on, man. You, um, the, the young niggas in the city now, right, and all the shit that be going on, what's the difference between your time and them? Nothing. So it was the same? Just the guns is bigger. But niggas is doing the same shit we was doing. Like when I be looking at the young niggas and be, I be like, bro, that was just us. You know what I'm saying? Because most you know, the people clothes try to act and like, change, you know, yeah. just the, you know, shit like that. act like it was totally different. It really was, but far as nigga shit, you know, niggas is just scamming and shit instead of selling crack and shit. Niggas is selling um, fentanyl and whatever. I don't know what the dope is. I don't even know none of these pills. These I don't know none of that shit because I don't indulge in it, bro. Right. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to ride with nobody that sell dope. I don't want to be around it. I don't want to be affiliated with it, my nigga. Who's I don't it? even know what the pills is. Like, these niggas is taking, what, oxycodones? I don't and, even know. I don't engage in none of that nigga, shit. Nigga, I don't even know the name of this shit. I ain't finna sell none. I ain't finna take none, Because if we was into it still, that's what we would be doing. Right. Like, if I was... Like, at one point in my life, I never thought I would stop selling crack, bro. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I was good at, my nigga, from 1984, 80, well, 1985 to motherfucking 1998. You know, it was gaps where I stopped. But, nigga, me going through life and shit, nigga, I had to get back on my hustle. Because I'm used to having this type of shit. When you young, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's real. You. Like when Mr. Predictor came out, nigga, I wasn't hustling. Yeah. But nigga, it was time to make a new album, and that money ain't. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta go do your thing. Nigga, I need to order twenty thousand Canadian bacon, so nigga, let me get back on my shit. So right. when I did that, bam, I'm I'm back. I got a bag now. I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Now I know how to put out music. I can put something out and go make me a hundred thousand dollars, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Back then. Go drop this shit off at the distributor. This distributor gonna want 3,000 units. This nigga gonna want 5,000. They gonna want 1,000. I take this shit all the way around the bay. They mm -hmm. want 100 here. Nigga, uh, T.Y. Uzi's want 100. Motherfucking Rasputin's want two, 3,000. For sure. Amoeba want 500, you know what I'm saying? Independent. Independent. Where you, what, what game do you know where you can turn a dollar into $8? Was you uh? Nigga, that's why Sebo and them was balling, bro. Was that's ballin'. why Fody and them was. I knew what was going on. I don't need no neighborhood dope dealer to put my shit out, bro. Right. They right. They had one chance. Right. When I was like 15. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was that was the only time niggas could have ever got me. It was over after that. After I learned the game, it was wasn't none. It wasn't none of that, bro. It didn't matter. You know how much money I turned down, bro. Did the records used to sound scan still when you saw them like Hell that? Hell yeah. My first, the first batch of Mr. Predictors didn't have no um, barcode on it. So you missed Because I had to them. order it, my nigga. Like, you got to understand, this ain't no clicking on the internet and right. your barcode right. generated right, right there. Nigga, right. you had to order the shit from the U.S. Um, PTO, I want to say, nigga. Yeah. You had to order it, send in a money order and wait for it to come in a book. He had to give it to the motherfuckers and scan like man, it was some shit you had to do for a fucking barcode, bro. But I own my barcode. I want to say it's one zero zero nine five. I still remember the number. That's crazy. Yeah, and I use that for everything to this day. That's crazy. Now you can just generate a fucking barcode, nigga. I paid, nigga. I want to say six hundred dollars for that motherfucker back then. It's some people that's uh, also from Lakeview. Of course, we said cool nut. But like, when we talk about like the Paper Boys, the Twenty Four Karat Goldens, or even Larry Jackson, like, how do you see that as a neighborhood for Lakeview? Like, like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I ain't never even met Larry Jackson, bro. I ain't met Larry Jackson. I don't even know if he know. He should know who I you am. You know his family? If I do, I, I'm pretty sure they know me. But for I sure. ain't never met Larry Jackson. You know, I didn't reached out. 
plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? DMs in the comments, like, God damn, nigga, this is, this is Lakeview. You right, feel me? Right, right, right. What's happening? Nigga, we still got talent over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me. I'm an old nigga. Yeah. But I do got an ear for this shit, and I am the greatest A&R that the world has never saw. Right. Because, nigga, the niggas that I discovered, nigga, go look they shit up, nigga. Go look, go look how much they shit is on eBay for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I only put out a couple artists. That's crazy. Go That's look crazy. and see how much they shit. Go look and see how much my shit on eBay for it. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, is we made good music and it was classic, and I made it hard to find back then. You know what I'm saying? On West Coast Bad Boys, what you? Think oh, about so four my songs? bad, my bad. Larry Jackson, Larry Jackson. We got Paper Boy. You know, I raised Paper. Paper. His 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 family raised me. I stayed around the corner from. They owned the whole corner right there. The beauty shop. Man, beauty shop. Nigga used to be Herman's Chicken right there. That nigga uncle was my partner. You know what I'm saying? His grandmama, his whole family, nigga, didn't, nigga that nigga been around me his whole life. Mm. And 20 he, keep, folk, he keeping 20, it lit. He keeping it lit. You know, you know, I'm a big influence on a lot of shit. People ain't going to say it, but niggas. He said, big it, bro, he said it on no vote. Big bro. No, for sure. I ain't talking about paper. I'm just talking about it in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you think about the young kid, 24? I just met 24. Remember we was oh, at the, at the YouTube, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know he saw me and he was real excited. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was excited. Yeah, because you know we claiming. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's something we claim, nigga. That's ours, nigga. Right, Whatever right. y'all want to say, nigga. Twenty four is ours, nigga. And anybody got a problem with it? Holla at me. Right. Yeah. And we gonna claim him. I, I thought it was so weird when niggas was saying, "Oh, that ain't first go." You know, I'm like, that's like saying, "Uh, fucking, uh, what's the rock group from Oakland?" Who, Green Day? That's like saying they ain't from Oakland. Yeah, for sure. Like, from the town. Like for you know, sure. you don't, you don't, you don't get to pick a genre of music to determine whether a nigga from your city or not. Nah, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he um locked in. You know what I'm saying with the right people. Yeah, and he locked in with Pape, so he, you he, know it's official. He doing his thing. I'm pretty sure if I ever needed him. For something. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You know me, bro. I don't never use my olive branch. Yeah, brand nah, for you shit. don't. You don't. You know, Mark, that's why I say I still got an 800 credit score in the streets. Yeah. Because I. If I ask a nigga for something, that's because I need it, bro. Mm -hmm. If I ask you to do something, that's because I, I need it. My card is still good. Like, I don't. Like, with everybody, I don't ask niggas for shit, bro. I don't right. ask for verses. I don't ask for nothing. And you really show up for a lot of niggas without niggas asking you. Man, come on, bro. I always do. Because I, I feel I'm the San Francisco representative, my nigga. Mm -hmm. When we out rap, who be the only nigga from the city in that motherfucker? You there bro? every time. Keep it 100, my nigga. Every fucking time. Every so fucking time. So I try to time. represent for, the, you know, the, the... I try to represent for the city. Because mm -hmm. everybody else be acting like they can't be around. Or be scared and shit, my nigga. What are you scared of, bro? How are you scared of your own people, my nigga? That's weird. That should be weird to me. That's weird. Nigga, I'm around the goons and the goblins, my nigga. When I'm around, nigga, you see, I'm, I'm with the, you feel me? For sure. Niggas, I, and, and I be the only Frisco nigga that be 100 Oakland niggas. That's real. When I'm with y'all, I be the only Frisco nigga, bro. But we family and nothing, Come on, nothing, my nothing nigga. Never, ain't we can, and we can't ain't never nobody let gonna let nothing happen, to, happen nothing. to me. Never. Just like if niggas in the city with me, nigga, I'm responsible, my nigga. That's just how I feel. I, I feel the nigga same. Nigga with way. me, bro, I feel like because I don't wanna have to go explaining to your daughter what, and shit, exactly, my nigga. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly, exactly, exactly. You um and you know with this shit too, you know we gotta do this again, Sales, because there's gonna sure. be so much shit that's gonna come up and what we gonna think. But before we do get out of here, I gotta ask you this. Is Living in the Bay your biggest song? Probably my biggest solo song for sure. Because like you, it got, you made it, a Bay it, Area it, it, anthem it, way before a lot of motherfuckers. And it still don't and it's and it's crazy, bro. You know how many anthems that I've really made, bro? And I feel I don't like how is living in the Bay not in no Bay Movies Area TV shit. series 
How I was not in no Bay Area movies. How I was not on niggas intros to their podcast, nigga, right, or whatever. Right. How was festival? I got a song called Festival at the Lake. Me, Jacka, and Joe Blow. That's a big song. That should be the fucking Lakes theme anthem. Song. Yeah. It should be the theme song. You know what I'm saying? When they do Lake Fest, that should be the song playing in the background. Period. That's I got a song called First Fridays, my nigga. I'm just saying, I make anthems from where I'm from. From where you from, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's dope, too. And you know what else is crazy? Like, But that's why I do this, because somebody that might not be big on music or not culturally sound, they could look at shit like this and like, you know what? Damn, Selsky, how the fuck we missed that? You Tell know him. what I'm saying? I feel like I take that responsibility like a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. We gotta stay educating our people because we got to. And I and I love you too because you ain't gonna rant. You ain't gonna say nothing about it. You just gonna keep being sales. Yeah, like, there's no there's no reason to. I did all that back on the Bart um, Bay Area uh, rap boards and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know I used yeah. to get on there and do my rants and get into it, with motherfuckers, and do all that because you know what I'm saying. That's I'm just was gonna stand on what I believed in and shit. So nowadays, I'm, I, that's nothing I can get, nigga. I'm an old rapper, bro. I'm going to yeah. be getting mad. Like, I was talking to Gazi one day, right? You know, that's my real friend. Mm -hmm. Gazi mixed my whole album, bro. Right. Mr. Predictor Part 2. Right. When he did Empire and all that, nigga, I'm the first nigga he called. Nigga, here, take this shit out. Whatever you're doing here, I know you ain't, nigga. You my nigga. I can do whatever the fuck I want at Empire, bro. That's really my partner, my friend. I, whatever. If I say Gazi, bro, I, I don't, you know, I don't ask niggas for nothing, but I'm just hypothetically speaking. I say, Gazi, bro, I need 15 bands. They're going to be like, where I need to send it to. You know, you got to have friends. That's like Burner. I can hit Burner, bro. I need a 10 ball. He's going to be like, all right, where you need me to send it? You got to have friends like that, bro. Right. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Me and Gazi was talking one day. And I said, movies at South by Southwest. I said, ain't you glad I don't be bothering you and this shit like everybody else? <laughs> he said, man, sales, man, you just don't have no idea, man. Look at my phone, man. Look at this shit. Look, it's motherfuckers, bro, who, motherfuckers who, goddamn, they, they, they selling fucking 300 records and they fucking texting me, bro. And woo, woo, bro. You see what I got? I said, bro. I said, I know, my nigga. I said, why you think I don't bother you, bro? I don't. He said, he said, I know, Sales. He said, that's why I fuck with you. That's why I love you, bro. Say, nigga, I don't bother none of my friends. That's, I don't need to. If I need you, I'm going to hit you. But guess what? If I text Gazi right now, he's going to text me right back. Right, right. You feel right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So Cause he know that, you ain't that, on his line begging. Come on, bro. I ain't begging for nothing. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, these niggas is texting me for the littlest shit, man. I, God damn. I could definitely see that. And he's a for big sure. dog. And he's a big dog that's accessible. Cause you know he like, bro. If I didn't have relationships with everybody, if these people wasn't my friends, I would cut eighty percent of my label. Yeah. But he said I can't cause these is niggas I built relationships with From before I even got yeah. this big. So. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You see, he tried to put on for the city, did the 415 project. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. Put money behind it. A lot did. of money. You know what I'm saying? Nigga that ain't just, never seen the Bart rap that many times with man, nothing in the on, bag. my nigga. He did that out of his, kind of his heart. Even so, though I wasn't yeah. part of the shit. And I talk, A and R, none I talk, of this shit. I talk shit. Or, shout, shout out to Street Kids. Shout out to Frisco Chuck. I got on that nigga like, nerves. I talk so nigga. much shit I'm about that. And my nigga, can't nobody ear fuck with mine, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you are, nigga. I should be at the the fucking head A and R Empire, to be honest, or any record fucking label, bro. Right. My ear is impeccable, my nigga. That's I have real. an ear for this shit. That's real. Whoever. That's why I say whoever lets me A and R, they probably cause you know I just ain't had no artist since Killer Keys died, bro. Rest in peace, Killer Keys. Rest in peace, Killer Keys. Just ain't dealt with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I be wanting an artist, even like the little niggas in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I want to do shit, but they ain't listening to what I'm trying to tell them to do. If you don't want to do all the 
industry shit and you worrying about the street shit all the time is not going to work. It's not. It's just not, bro. I don't care. It's you not. worrying about what these niggas is doing. I don't want to do a song with this nigga because he fuck with not, bro. I don't care about none of that shit, bro. You ain't going to last as long as I did worrying about that shit, my nigga. Hell no. Because I never did. That's real. When we was into it with the other niggas, when they dropped their shit, nigga, I listened to their shit and their shit was dope. Guess what? They in the projects listening to my shit. Because I went to school with over half the niggas that went. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They watched the right. journey. Right, right, right. So, uh, shit. Um, Damn, man, it's been great, Sid. You know, oh, we yeah, we do. As soon as we two. do this, we got to do another one because they gonna be on my ass about we shit do I a forgot. Part two. Oh, it's a hella shit we ain't talking about. You know about, what I'm boy. saying? But that's good. That's that give us more reason to keep For this sure. shit going because it shouldn't be it's no one time thing anyway. About. But before we do leave, I want you to uh, shout out your social medias and the Chemical Baby. Oh the, yeah, the, the fucking weed. Come the on, motherfucking. Clothes. We got I mean, everything. Just shout that shit out, sales gear, and, uh, and yo and yo play and where they can get this shit at. Uh, we have blunt some more right now. Y'all can get all the tree here. CBCbrand.com for the clothes. Um Selsky 415, C E L L S K I 415. All my uh, social medias, Chemical Baby, C B C um, Two Took Farms. We good, Mister Two Took. We good, and 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 um, I'm at Lord Rab on everything. We had no vultures on everything. You can hit H uh, OG Clea H A G underscore Universe. You can hit Tucky Blunt at Tucky Blunt again. Shout out to Blunts and More, the presenting sponsor for the No Vultures podcast. We are here for the entire summer. We're gonna be doing these out in the lounge. We want you to come by the store. We want you to smoke. We want you to consume. What is it? Commune and consume. We want you to commune and consume. Commune so come and out here, commune and consume, and make, make some room. brother and make room. God damn it. Man, again, Sal, appreciate you, brother. This you know what I'm saying? One. You a motherfucking legend. It's part one. And we gone, man. Part one. Stay all blue. Stay all blue. I'm just trying to stack racks up like you. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair run like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer, I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga, we don't save hoes. Yeah, rest in peace, a little.